All right, so we're in phase four of the Marvel Universe movie timeline. Frankly, if you like Marvel movies, good for you. But probably you don't read the comics. I have. The Marvel movies are retarded. The timeline is all screwed up. The Civil War happened before the Infinity War. Spider-Man's still a kid, which is retarded. Spider-Man was like in his 30s and married by the time the Civil War happened. For some reason, every Marvel hero can't seem to keep their damn mask on. It's as if they don't understand what secret identities are anymore. On top of that, Spider-Man himself didn't even take off his mask with the Avengers for like 40 years in our time. The only person who knew Spider-Man's real identity in the Avengers was Wolverine because Wolverine could smell Peter Parker. Spider-Man was like, how did you know I was Peter Parker? And Wolverine's like, the nose knows. I'm like, that makes sense. Continuity, baby. The new Marvel's absolutely cancerous. Please forgive my outburst. I will try to keep them at a minimum. Because I hate what's being done to one of my favorite things, comic books. Since everything is like woke now and it's the age of women, of course they want it to be the age of women after everything's all nice and tidy, you know? Where was the age of women where barbarians were running around and whatnot, you know? Remember? The Huns are charging up the hill. Not one woman said, let me get a sword and handle this. <laughs> Genghis Khan was running around. You didn't see an army of women fighting him. Uh, let's see. Boy, big. We're in a time now. We're like, it's just this culture war that is needless. It really is. Every five seconds, it's about women. They're going to turn the Black Panther to a woman in the movies. Yes, I know the Black Panther was a woman in the comics for five seconds. That's because the original Black Panther was off in space helping the Avengers do something. So his sister took over. Don't you come for me, darling. I know my stuff about Google searching it. That's what I find annoying about dealing with these Twitter people. You say something and they Google something because they don't know sh**. There's going to be an age. If anything happened to the Internet, there's going to be a whole bunch of millennials running around not knowing how to live. Uh, how do I get down the street? I don't know. <laughs> My phone doesn't work. Marvel She-Hulk writer wants to cancel South Park because it damages our culture. Data Racer comes through yet again. This dude goes through the absolute trashiest of trash hot takes and brings them back. One day, they're going to find this dude has a malignant tumor growing on the back of his <laughs> head the size of a baseball. And they're going to go, how did you get this? And he's going to go, I was trying to stop the social justice war. <laughs> She's an SJW who wants to school and ban books written by white men and abuses Star Wars fans calling them dweebs. Well, of course, Star Wars fans. We're the biggest villains ever because we didn't like what was done with Star Wars. How in Jesus' name you take Star Wars, see all this expanded universe material, and then flip your nose up at it and go, this isn't going to do. I want a new story that focuses on a woman. When Star Wars is about boys and their fathers, God forbid young boys have something to look forward to or to sort of give them a guiding light in life when most of us were raised by women. So essentially, most of our male life lessons came from fictional characters. Take it away from them and put the boys in dresses. That's where we're at in 2020. I'm in trouble. Still edit everything out. Donna Schwartz, now she looks like a bowl of fun. In retrospect, it seems impossible to overstate the cultural damage done by South Park. Really, Queen? South Park is to blame for the world's ills. I remember watching South Park and finding it fantastic because it held a mirror up to our dark society. This is the type of woman that would look at GTA 5 and complain about it, when in all actuality, it was satire based on the culture we live in. The show that portrayed earnestness is the only sin and taught that mockery is the ultimate inoculation against criticism. 28k likes. So I guess this is why there's like South Park trending on Twitter for the past couple days and I didn't know why. I was like, oh, maybe they're back and they're doing something funny again. Matt and Trey are rich white guys and they convinced a generation of scared, vulnerable young men that irony will never hurt them. What? I am genuinely confused as to what this means. 
Of course, they're rich. They made a successful show. Matt and Trey didn't start out rich. It was a fluke they got picked up for anything. They basically hit the lottery. And granted, to stick around this long and still be somewhat relevant is kind of a feat. Look at The Simpsons. Look at what happened to The Simpsons. Now a poo's gone. Because it's a, it's an insane city. Oh, Mr. Homer. I guess I have to leave now. Like, for real. The, uh, like, duh. It's a fucking character on a cartoon show. Of course it's over the top. My god, this generation is so against fun. It's new Puritans, dude. Do this, do that, be good, be safe, don't be naughty. <laughs> From Zigga Zigga to House Proud, House Proud, look at you. A generation of scared, vulnerable young men? I I'm like, I am really confused by this comment. That I recall running away from bullies who were looking to beat the hell out of me and take my money. On a, you ever run through a cornfield girl? <laughs> South Park was one of our only pleasures in life. <laughs> the girls don't like you at school. Some of the guys are convicted felons. Or they would be. Man, I remember once. Uh, one of the, my favorite days in high school. That's right, you're going back in time, Papa Gundam. Was the day. These like, really... Gangster ass black guys that gave me and my gang hell were arrested for stealing a car after school. I said, Praise the Lord. <laughs> we were walking past them as they were being arrested. I said, Yes, dreams do come true, Jesus. Take them away. <laughs> Take the motherfuckers away. Run their pockets, officer. They got my money. This part of the story had to be cut. Though funny we could not risk another Gundam's childhood tales. Mars a situation. You know what? Screw it. No novels by white men in high schools for the next 20 years. Why? I don't understand. What, what does that do? I'm confused. How is the novel by a white man bad? Oh no, a child might read Fight Club. Please buy my book if you want to learn more. Oh my god, selfish promotion. Shameful. I'm more scared of angry young white men in trench coats than I am of ISIS. Really, Queen? She wrote that in 2016. That's funny. I guess she's trying to, like, channel that trench coat mafia 1990s energy 20 years later. I get scared when I'm walking alone and I see a drunk frat guy type staring at me. Good God almighty. White Men's Guide to White Male Writers of the Western Canon. Oh, boy. This chick is writing the She-Hulk movie, so, uh, you know, it's going to be real fun. The literal canon as it exists is racist and patriarchal, and it keeps reinforcing itself. Of the 26 writers, only four are women. All white, only two of the writers are Latin women. None are black. Oh, boy. Our ideas of what's important books are wasn't built in a vacuum. They were created back in the time when books by women and people of color were inherently thought of as lesser. The gatekeepers were white men who were biased in favor of their own perspective. Okay, well, what does that got to do with now? Tell somebody to write a better book. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Then go back in time, girl, and fix it. Build a time machine. Well, what does this got to do with now? That's it. I'm going to burn my copy of Great Expectations. <laughs> Take that. I'm just warning all of you now that when the white man's guy comes out in November, I'm going to start tweeting some very provocative literary takes just because it's really fun to me when threatened white men get very mad. Basically, what that means is I'm going to write some stuff that I know will bother people on purpose in the hopes of bothering them. And then when they say something back to me, I'll block them. Stunning and brave. The Last Jedi is objectively the best Star Wars movie. The most cohesive, the best looking, and the most interesting idea raised. And not liking it is the world's biggest self-own? What the fuck? Fuck does that even mean? The Last Jedi was absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. What are you talking about? 
Ryan Johnson is trash. The story was trash. The under he doesn't even understand the force. Literally, don't get me started on Star Wars. The new Star Wars movies were made by people who have no clue what the force was. My God, Mary Sue truly encapsulates Rey. She does not have any struggle. She starts off with the Jedi mind trick. Do you know how it took Luke Skywalker three movies to get the Jedi mind trick? Get the Wait. fuck out of here. It's almost like going to a dojo and then, oh my God, I'm trying to like make my thoughts cohesive, but I can't because it's Star Wars and I hate Star Wars now because of the Star Wars movies that have recently come out. It's like, it's just the dumbest thought process. It would be like someone going into like a, a, a karate class and expecting to break big bricks the first day. Like, oh, I feel strong with the force and my femininity. Chop, chop. Oh no, I broke my hand. Do you know the people who did Star Wars now could have at least watched some Akura Sour films? You know, just learn what George Lucas was looking at and then steal again, but at least do it right. What about white men in the Star Wars universe? Me, 0% interest. Who, who even says that? Who even says that? Who sat there and said, oh my God, what about white men in the Star Wars? No, the only thing we were saying is stop this. It's horrible. The movie is garbage. And the only thing it has given us is Raylo fans. This movie has done nothing but destroy Star Wars in every level. Ryan Johnson had to make that movie with one hand tied behind his back. And he delivered a visual feast, you ungrateful dweebs. Oh! Well, forgive me. The movie looked really good. There's a woman for you. It, she goes after something that looks really good and lacks substance. But if you tell her otherwise, you're the asshole. And that's why we have the term fuckboys. Because women can't piece together. Humping the hot dude doesn't fix your life. That has nothing to do with my, I'm like, oh my god. Oh, right. And she's probably a Raylo fan. Me jamming out to the tune of dummies being wrong. Wrong about what? All of the people writing me incredibly detailed, elaborate emails about why I'm wrong about The Last Jedi does not seem to understand how few fucks I give about them. I don't even know why they'd bother writing you. It would be easier to speak to a wall because you've already made, your mi made up your mind that Ryan Johnson was the, the pagan god of Star Wars. To even say that it's the best Star Wars movie disgusts me. No Star Wars movie has beaten Empire Strikes Back. And Ryan Johnson is such a fidget that he used, oh, you know, when Empire Strikes Back came out, people didn't like it. Guess what, fucker? You're a liar. And two, it's been how many years since your shit movies come out, and the only people that like it are the women that are diddling themselves to the idea of Rey and uh, Kylo Ren having children and drawing little comics about it. Those are the only people who care. And in 10 more years, it's going to be like Twilight. It'll be just akin to a piece of shit storyline no one else cares about and even the people who loved it have forgotten about it and are embarrassed by it. Me every time the Joker director does an interview. Don't talk. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a surprise. The Joker though. That's trash. Ryan Johnson Star Wars. That is a cinema masterpiece. You know what? Fuck Marvel. This chick is writing She-Hulk. Good. You know what you did? You just screwed your own movie. Because I'm not watching it. And I'm pretty sure most people that watch me won't watch it. So I hope to God you got a lot of money in the visual department. Because it's the only thing that might save you. My God. And why do they hire these people? And they're combative too. You know, you can have your own opinion. As whacked out as it is. But you don't say it out in public. Or you don't put it out there and then try and shit on people. You know? It's like she is just completely combative and she seeks out upsetting groups of people just for the thrill of it. And for someone that's so afraid of even seeing a drunken frat guy out in the streets, why do you pop off at the mouth so much? This woman be afraid of her own shadow if it looks slightly masculine behind her. Oh, 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 it's my own shadow. I thought it was a misogynist. Jesus, I can't, I cannot with this. Gundam, look at more cancer. No, this is killing my soul.